curtain rises on the greatest military experiment ever undertaken, the atom bomb tests at Bikini. The battleship Pennsylvania drops anchor in the lagoon. This model shows the sitting ducks, the 73 obsolete ships awaiting the mighty blast. Admiral Lowry, rear echelon commander, points to the target vessel, the Nevada. Awaiting the actual blast pictures, we know the Nevada, though in the center of the area, was only lightly damaged. The heavy cruiser Pensacola was badly battered, as was the battleship Arkansas. Half of the vessels in the target area were either sunk or damaged. Several captured Axis ships were used as guinea pigs, the German Prince Eugen and the Japanese battleship Nagato. Inspecting the latter is Admiral Blandy, Army and Navy Joint Task Force One commander. The Japanese light cruiser Sakawa foundered under the terrific impact and the aircraft carrier Independence blazed fiercely for hours. The veteran Saratoga escaped again. The old Sarah withstood torpedoes and kamikaze and ran up a mighty proud record. Hundreds of pieces of equipment and armor lashed to the decks will provide data for the scientists. Thousands of specially constructed instruments will furnish their records of radioactive rays and what happens at the awful core of an atom blast. This time, nobody could complain about the weather. And it was the final factor in setting A for Able Day. Crews of planes taking part received last minute briefing as to the roles they will play. These men knew their jobs and did them well. The Army is justly proud of them. And of the mechs and weaponeers, men of the ground crews, who had the planes in tip top shape for A Day. The super fortresses assembled at Kwajalein were specially marked. B for bombers, along with sister ships for charting weather data. The arrows indicate instrument planes, while those bearing the letter F are photographic ships. Cameramen are briefed on the eve of the takeoff. More cameras were trained on the bikini blast than at any other single event in world history. The film record of Operation Crossroads required the services of hundreds of men and tons of film. What they record provides science and the military with clues to the future of atomic power. This B-29 will go down in history, Dave's dream, mighty link between the present and the future, and her crew ready and waiting, Major Swankert, pilot, and Major Wood, bombardier, were selected for the job on the basis of their excellence in competitive trials. Major Wood had his fingers on the pulse beat of the world when he released the bomb over Bikini Atoll. Yes, there was a lady aboard, Fritzy by name and air-minded by nature. Next stop, Bikini and rendezvous with destiny. One world awaits the final verdict on Operation Crossroads. <laughs>